Hello, I'm John Borowski, and you're on the hook. In this episode, we're going to be talking about your future in the towing industry, starting off at the beginning of 2021 and uh, having a horrific 2020. Well, hello. Finally, we're out of 2020. I couldn't be happier. I mean, you know, everybody can say it's the worst year of their life, but who knows what's left in our life? And that's why I want to talk to you today. 2021, we need to start utilizing and moving forward the year before us and learn from what we learned, well, act on what we learned from last year. While many businesses that were on the edge didn't make it, there's probably more that aren't going to make it. The point being here is this industry has always been in trouble money-wise. We've always been behind the dollar. We could never manage to get the proper rate um, and act like we should. And, and, and when I say that, I don't mean it in a derogatory sense. I mean that we need to bring this, this entire towing industry up a few notches on that, on that ladder. And what's always prevented us from doing that has been the almighty dollar. It is continually our headache because we compete on price and we never should do that. I've been preaching this for 20 years. If you ever listen to me speak and talking about profitability, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again, but hello. 2021 is a whole brand new opportunity. If you've noticed, everything in your life today costs more money than it ever did before. Has anybody said anything? No, they haven't. They're appreciative for the services that they're receiving. Now, in 2010, I brought out accident remediation to help you guys get your rates up and allow you to make some more money that is collectible from insurance companies, as it should be, because it truly is, and, and, I, and I believe this sincerely, that it's property damage. And it's been proven because they have paid it on the property damage claims. So the point being is, here we are, 11 years later. Have you raised your rates? I know most people haven't. And I do know, because I've been there, and, and I was one of you at one point in time where making money, well, you know, that was kind of a secondary thing. Pay the bills. Pay the bills. You always pay the bills. You made a truck payment before you made a mortgage payment. That's the way it is. You shouldn't have to choose. It should be like any other profession, whether you're a plumber, electrician, whatever it is. When your tool wears out, you go buy another one. Not in this industry because we don't have the money. We're hand to mouth continually. This is your opportunity to get your rates where they belong and take care of quite a few other issues that you need to take care of, such as employees. They need to be properly paid. That will eliminate issues with them coming into work when they're supposed to be there. Um, clean and neat, respectful, uh, always willing to go the extra mile, concerned about customer satisfaction, uh, giving them vacation time, giving them a proper pay, those are the things that we need to do for retaining these employees and having them make towing their career. Well, I'm lucky. I'm on my 50th year in this industry and I've always watched to make sure that I'm going to live the lifestyle that I want to. And, and, and I pretty much have only because I made it work. And that's what you need to do. So I'm telling you what right now you need to review your rates, get them up. If you're still in business, you're probably you're probably pretty much close to being there because otherwise you'd be out because volumes are down everywhere. They started to return and now we have another scare. It's been one thing after another. I don't have to tell you. I don't even want to talk about that anymore. However, it's very important for you to start raising your rates and getting things into perspective and looking at the next uh, decade or, or two uh, that's in front of you. You should have your one, three, five year uh, and even a 10 year plan to know where you're going and make sure you're on the right path. Further, um, I'd like you to take note to the magazine, uh, American Tolman. Uh, there's some really good articles in here again. The January edition right here. You've got Changing Dangerous Habits, Assessing the Team, uh, the Terrain, on car, Online Car Sales and Towing. And we've got Tolman of the Year. If you haven't gotten your magazine yet, you're going to be surprised. But I think it was a well thought out uh, and deserving award to the Tolman of the Year by publisher Steve Kalitri. Um, when you think about the past year, um, I, I think you understand where he's coming from, because I certainly do. And I salute all of you for what you do every single day out there. 
but let's turn this into a much better industry than what it is now. We shouldn't be fighting to get paid to move 50 and $60,000 cars in less than an hour. Get the call, do the call, deliver the car in less than an hour. You know, some of you are too young to remember the old Domino's thing, but it was always under a half hour and 20 bucks. And that's, we can't have that attitude anymore. We can't. Not when, when, not when light duty trucks start out at $100,000 and then you gotta talk about insurance, then you gotta talk about benefits, your rent. I mean, just everything concerned. I, I, I'm preaching to the choir. But what I am telling you is, get your rates into perspective. You need to do that. Being safe on the road today is, more, is harder than ever. Uh, because of the stress levels that people are operating at, you need to have your staff understand the fact that people are really all on the edge just like they are. But what they need to do is they need to take the extra time to be caring, to try and calm those people down. You know, everybody gets their car towed that's out there. Nobody woke up this morning and says, pretty nice day out there. I think I'll get my car towed. No, that doesn't happen. And, and not only that, are, you're taking away their, their second largest investment that they ever made in their life besides their house, if in fact they have one. If not, it may be the largest. So if that's the case, now they have no way to get around. They have no transportation. It makes it very difficult today to be without wheels. I mean, yeah, you can get an Uber uh, or Lyft or whatever, but... It's not the same. You don't have your freedom and you're really upset. On top of everything else that's been going on, really excited about having my car towed, if you know what I mean. So get your staff to understand that there's a lot of short tempers out there, short fuses with these tempers, and, and we need to go that extra mile with them. And I firmly believe, I know I'm old school and I just finished telling you, in September will be the finish of my 50th year. I'm sticking around though. But the point is, is that I'm still old school, and I believe quality of service speaks volumes. And, and I think that's why I've made it as far as I have, and so will you. In the meantime, be safe out there. Everyone goes home tonight. I'll see you next time.